What's good, y'all? I'm back, finally, after much ado with the 70D this time. What is up, 70D family? Shout out to everybody in the 80D, 70D, 60D club. Y'all are welcome, too. <laughs> to celebrate the fact that we have some bomb little cameras, I'm loving the fact that I can see myself actually now instead of not, and the fact that it's autofocused, so I don't have to worry about all that. So, I'm hitting you guys up with an impromptu video today, and basically, um, as far as today, as far as the day so far goes, it's been a good day. I hit the gym up, <clears throat> and um, so a new kind of piece of news in my life, I like to be transparent with you guys, as I know, and like, that requires for me to give out, you know, any, any uh, kind of whatever type of topic I'm talking about, it's going to be related back to my life. So... What I wanted to bring up is I've been doing, actually, me and a couple people that I know, we've been doing this contest. As you guys know, I make music. And so, we've been doing this contest. It's called Beat of the Week. And we actually, I won. My first video won. I'm probably going to throw it up on the channel as well, so you guys can check it out. And uh, it's basically like every week they put out a new beat, and artists get a chance to kind of freestyle or rap or sing or whatever they want to do on the beat. So... That was awesome, and so we just actually yesterday got done shooting, or no, it was the day before, shooting my new video. Yesterday we edited it, and it's been really good. Um, so today, when I was kind of coming back from the gym, I like passed by the pool, and <clears throat> I see this girl there that I haven't actually talked to in a long time. It's only, it's almost been like a year and a half. And the last time we talked, it like wasn't on good, it wasn't a good vibe. Basically, what had happened was that she used to, or at least said that she made music at a certain point. And for whatever reason, um, I think it was like kind of like we saw each other and I, I was, I think she took it like more offensively or, or than I meant it. I kind of meant it is kind of just like I was going to call her out um, for kind of like, not in a super harsh, super demeaning way, but just like, you don't even make music, do you? Like, and so basically I said that in front of her friend and she got, she took it like really like badly and was like, oh my God, like I can't believe blah, blah, blah. And, um, that you would say that or whatever. So anyways, I haven't seen her in like a year and a half, but I just kind of like mosey over there after I catch her, like I see her like looking at me, I turn around and she's just like staring at me. So I go over there and I'm like, what's up? Like, how you been? As soon as I do, she just like, can't help but like try to like, you know, she like tries to not smile because she knows it's kind of funny that I was whatever, I'm just kind of chill about it, like it doesn't matter, whatever is in the past is in the past. And uh, <clears throat> so I kind of show her my, or I just tell her about the thing, she tells me about this producer, hit him up. But anyways, it's just, it's just interesting, it's kind of cool because it reminds me of the fact that we can, we don't have to uh, go into any situation with this this preconceived notion or idea that oh yeah this is going to be like a shitty interaction like i don't want to do this i don't want to talk to this person because of this or whatever they're in a bad mood instead of projecting any sort of energy like that onto it i just projected the energy of hey we used to be friends like no reason why when i see you out here that i'm not going to say what's up even though whatever last time was whatever so <clears throat> i thought that was kind of cool and then on my way down, because I see another girl that I know, Maggie. Um, so I'm coming back from uh, the pool, and I see her, and I just tell her about the app real quick. I'm like, yeah, you know, Trey, whatever. So basically, she was like, oh, yeah, like, I'll vote for you, definitely. Like, just send, let me know where it is. And so I got her Instagram, and uh, it was funny, too, because she said exactly what's been on my mind, what I think, but I, like, don't necessarily put into words all the time. But she was like, oh, yeah, because at first she gave me her number, and I was like, uh, maybe the, let's just do the Instagram instead because it's better because I can actually, you can, we can see each other's stories, see what we're up to. You can see my video on there and everything. She's like, oh yeah, it's perfect. I actually am way more receptive on Instagram. Like I just ignore my text when I get text messages, but on Instagram, I'm like, what's up? So I was like, okay, that's cool. Uh, and then after that, I made a green smoothie and I am about to hit you guys with the smoothie recipe. It's bomb. I mean... These smoothies taste like cookie dough and they got, they taste like green cookie dough because I put spirulina and chlorella in them. And I'm definitely gonna get some more and more recipes going, but in the meantime, 
I just wanted to do a simple thank you to everybody that's been on the channel and that's been watching and um, yeah, like like I'm like I said, this is impromptu, so I just wanted to you know kind of say that we we can really just it's really just about us receiving a lot of the times things won't happen the way that we predict the way that we want if we are keeping our importance very high and in, in terms of a certain particular outcome that we are becoming attached to that's only distancing us from the blessings that we're already receiving because we receive them every day and it also depends on the people that you're surrounding yourself with the people that you're hanging out with spending time with are they caught up in dwelling on the minutia of life that is may or may not be completely amazing in every aspect you know there there are certain things obviously throughout our day that will annoy us or that you know things don't go in a way that is serving or helpful to us or or the people around us but you know that's part of being having your own energy and allowing it to flow up and well up from within you rather than reacting and now that's why I brought up the, the example just now of this chick that I saw because I feel like, and no offense to her, I mean, we're all on our own journey and path and whatever, but I felt like as if her and her friend were like, had that mindset, like, oh, like, blah, 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 like, I tend to focus on more negative things, right? So um, that's why, you know, things we didn't really end up, you know, pursuing of any sort of friendship, relationship or whatever. I felt like we were on two different, like, wavelengths kind of, but my ability or the, not even ability, I mean, we all have this ability. We we just are able to allow those chill emotions to come up through us. Like I know what I'm doing. I know that I'm making music. I know that I'm doing the things that are on that are making myself a better person every day. So if somebody takes offense to something that I said, I'm not gonna get all twisted and knots up inside of myself about it because I know that that's just their perception of what it is that I'm doing. And that's something that I've actually really had to kind of take more into account as I do this beat of the week thing because it is um you know as as you guys as obviously most people know if you're in this generation I mean hip hop culture there tends to be a lot of you know tough image you know uh, a lot of violence gets promoted in hip hop there's always like this kind of like tough exterior that people people feel the need to kind of you know go along with that cliche and while I do have, like, I do enjoy these little, <laughs> that, the little theatricality of it sometimes, sometimes it's just, um, you know, it's just too much, it's just not, it's not called for, it's unnecessary, and it's really just serving nothing but lowering the overall vibration of, you know, the people listening and everything, everything around it. So, with, it, with that being said, this Beat of the Week contest, a lot of guys were like, not a lot even, just a couple of the guys that were in competition with me were like, oh man, this guy's music is ass, he sounds like T-Pain, this isn't real rap, and basically, you know, we're just dissing on me, and it's like, at the end of the day, I have nothing, I have no problem with you guys, you know, you guys put out whatever music you want to, if you want to make a campaign based on negativity about me, or, or whatever other people are doing, rather than positivity from yourself, you know, that's your call, but I'm not here to engage in that, I'm not here to, like, reflect or give you that, I think a lot of the time people are looking for a response. They're looking to bring some sort of anger out of you, some sort of retaliation, revenge, whatever it may be, and that's not my, why I'm here. So, one of the artists that I was working with, his name's Trey, so we lived in the same building, so he was like, you know what, you gotta respond to them. And then I was like, dude, I don't really wanna respond to them. Like, I much rather prefer just ignoring it and just making a good vibe song, which is what I ended up doing. As I said, I'm about to post this new one it's, and my other one called Golden Mindset. I'm going to post them on the channel and you guys can vibe to them. Let me know what you think about them. Uh, they're just, you know, really quick videos that we shot so that we can win this contest and basically I can get more practice doing a little bit of marketing push, doing a little, just putting myself out there for the first and foremost and also um, getting going with this, getting rolling with this content all around. As you guys know, I want to be making this content and for me, as you know, I've been releasing content even though I didn't have this, this nicer camera set up. I don't have a, a ring light on the camera right now, but I'm still putting this video out. 
I know that I have a lot to improve in terms of the quality of the content, but it's not going to stop me from putting it out because I think that it's still beneficial to people. It still serves its purpose, and my purpose is to kind of, you know, be uplifting, inspire, increase the vibration where I can, and be somebody that, you know, somebody that basically, like the people that I look up to, the people that I see their videos and I'm like, man, I'm so glad you put that out. I'm so glad that I listened to that song, watched this video today, watched her, whatever because now it's giving me a new perspective on what I'm doing and, I, and it's just nothing but helpful. It's nothing but putting out good vibes. That's what I'm all about. As I've said before, thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope that it resonates and maybe even, you know, the fact that I'm putting it out right now as I do it, hopefully the timing's right. Hopefully it resonates with something that you guys are, are going, like, not going through because going through has some connotation like it's negative, but something that you guys are doing and with that being said, thank you guys very much, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. I'm definitely going to, um, like I said, switch up the topics, and please feel free to leave me any comments um, with any feedback or anything that you guys want to hear about. I have a, There's a lot that I have to say, and there's a lot of wisdom out there, and if anybody is, you know, there's anything, any particular thing on your mind, Drop it down in the comments below. Thank you guys very much. Bye.